everybody. It's me, Steven. Just letting you guys know that I'm picking up a bike for my little boy, Gabriel. Uh, what I'm going down to look at is a 2022 RM85 Suzuki. Uh, so what I'll do is, if the sale goes through, I'll uh, take a couple videos of uh, what you look for when you're buying a, a used dirt bike. Because uh, even though it's a 22 and the guy says that it's only been yard ridden, uh, it's like how every car has been driven by an old lady. You know, you never, you never really know if it's, it's the truth or not. So you go through and you look for certain things and, and I'll take you through the bike once I get my hands on it, if it's the right bike for us. And uh, I'll show you how it's done. Hey everyone and welcome to my garage. As you can see, we uh, we picked up the 2022 RM250 made by Suzuki. So far on first looks, it looks like a pretty, pretty decent bike, but what we're going to do now is we're going to go through the bike and just make sure that the fluids are all right. We're going to drain the, the oil. We're going to drain the gas. We're gonna drain the antifreeze and we're gonna put new in so that way we know that everything is tip top and we'll uh, take the carburetor off and make sure that that looks good as well so first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna drain the oil and then we're gonna put in new oil uh, what this does is it keeps everything in the engine nice and fresh it helps the clutch stay intact and it just keeps the motorcycle looking good overall. Uh, underneath, there's a drain bolt. And that's a 12 millimeter. It's coming out. It's looking a uh, little dark like it was used for riding, but it looks pretty good overall. Not too shabby. Now up top it is a, uh, we have a 19 millimeter uh, billet. Looks like the previous owner put a billet oil cap on it. It adds a little flare, but the stock ones work just fine. So if it doesn't have a billet one, that's cool too. It's it's not not like it adds any performance to it. Now on the uh, engine case right here, it tells you how much how much fluid you need. You need 550 milliliters, which is just a little bit more than your typical ratio right. Uh, so you just let it drain. This is the time when you when you start looking over your bike, making sure that everything's tight, making sure that all the bolts are good. But since we're going to be going through this, um, since we're going to be going through this bike from top to bottom, uh, we don't really need to do that. Also, one thing that a uh, that a friend of mine, Mr. Dan Beebe from Performance Recreation, he's the Cobra dealer up here in New York, what he had told me to do is when you drain the oil, make sure you put something on the handlebar so that way you know that there's no oil in it. But since I'm doing this video here with you, I'm not going to, not going to do that. 
because I've got video evidence of me putting it in. And then once you put the oil in, after it, you remove your indicator. I, I like to use painter's tape. So once it's done draining, you're going to want to thread that bottom bolt back in. It's going to be a little bit messy. Now that bottom bolt has got a washer on it. Make sure that that washer stays on the bolt. Some of you might be wondering why we chose Suzuki as a uh, as a motorcycle for my kids. They uh, believe Suzuki is getting a bad rap. It's a 85 cc motor, and it's got all the bells and whistles that a typical race bike has. So. And then the price is right. I've got four kids, so I like to keep things economical. And a good friend of mine, Paul Burfine, former owner of Ace Suzuki, uh, Team B, Rider Support, uh, he, he's the one that pointed us in the direction of these bikes. And he said that as long as we keep everything tight, and maintain this bike. It'll be all the bike that my kids need until they move up to the next size bike, which will be probably the 125, which then we'll have to switch because I'm not a big fan of the four strokes. We'll see what happens when we get there. But right now we've got two strokes and this is the bike for us. So make sure that your, your funnel is nice and clean. I like this one because it's angled out towards me. It came with my my Predator generator that I use to power my camper when we go camping. I just love I just love these these little funnels that come free with it. I don't like paying money for funnels when they come for free. So that's 500 milliliters and. 50 milliliters. All right. Make sure that it gets all drained in there nicely. So what I used for oil is Maxima MTL 75 weight. Uh, it's a little bit cooler out right now, so uh, so that's why I use the 75 weight uh, up here in upstate New York, but. It, it's uh, the equivalent of 10W30. Now you can use the 80 weight, which I believe is the same as 10W40, but the viscosity is a little bit, a little bit thicker. So this is aluminum going with aluminum. Just going to give it a little snug it up, a little ugga dugga, if you will. Always make sure that you're responsible with your oil. And then uh, we're going to we are going to drain the antifreeze next. So off camera, what I did was I removed the the radiator cap, and I loosened this hose clamp on the radiator hose that comes down into the water pump. Now, the, some of the other machines that you might be familiar with, they have little drains within the water pump. I'm not really sure. When I checked the owner's manual, it said just to loosen up the, the radiator hose. And then it should, should do its thing. Now, this is a little tight. Because I like it. Like I said, this bike has not been molested has not been tinkered with with by people and this is going to splash a little so just have 
a container underneath to catch it. And you're going to want to drain it all out so that way you know everything in there is nice and fresh. This stuff's the color of Ecto Cooler. What I like to use is uh, engine ice. It's what I use on the other mini cycles, mini motorcycles that my kids ride. They've ridden Cobras. Uh, they've also, uh, they just got out of having KTM 65s. The engine ice just is a, uh, it's a good motorcycle coolant and it, and it holds up pretty well. So what you're going to want to do is let that drain out and make sure that everything that you start with is nice and fresh and clean. Have a clean work area for your motorcycle so that way uh, foreign material doesn't get in. If you're going to leave uh, leave your bike opened up, make sure you uh, put a foreign material exclusion device over top of the holes, i.e. tape. Since this isn't a nuclear grade uh, piece of machinery, you can use tape. Otherwise, I would suggest you use a piece of flat stock metal and then then go from there so we're just going to tighten up this hose clamp so that way we don't lose any of our coolant there we go and then we'll just add some coolant So, over at the other side of the bike, the shroud side, there's uh, a pet cock that allows the fuel to come out and it goes into, feeds into the carburetor. What I am going to do is just loosen this, pull that out, and we're going to drain this tank. As much as I want to trust my fellow man that they put in good fuel and wouldn't leave me junk stuff with ethanol in it. I just can't be too sure. So, just gonna drain the tank. It's no big deal, but it is a little boring to watch. So we got it drained all the way down to a trickle now. It's safe to say that the tank is empty, so we'll turn the fuel off. Put this back on. Put the hose clamp back in position. We'll probably upgrade that hose clamp because this is just based on tension and I'd like to have something where it's at least wrench tight. So that's pretty much what you do when you first get a bike. You go through and you check everything over. You make sure that the fluids are all gone. So that's what I did. I drained all the fluids and I replaced all of them with brand new fluids. Uh, antifreeze, transmission oil, and two-stroke gasoline, which is a mixed oil, 32 to 1 for this machine. Uh, I'm using Yamalube, uh, which is pretty cheap, but these, these motors, from what I've been told, can handle it very well for all my other bikes that my kids ride. They use uh, a synthetic Motul 800. So, uh, so it'll be a, an adjustment. I'll have to bring an extra can. So that's not a big deal. Um, anyways, let me know if you guys like doing motorcycle maintenance. Uh, comment, please, below. Tell me about your opinion of RMs. Good, bad, indifferent. And just the important thing is to make sure that you let your kids get out there and ride. Motorcycles are amazing. God bless.